So here I am with Jim Studi. Um, Jim, I would love to have you tell me a little bit about yourself, um, especially you are an agronomist and you are originally a city boy. So I'd love to hear about how that happened. How'd you get into agronomy? Uh, so I am a city boy. So we're here on my farm and I grew up in Madison and spent summers down here. And, and let me interject, Madison, Wisconsin. Madison, Wisconsin. Your, far your farm is? In East Troy, Wisconsin. Okay. More correct, it's Troy Center, Wisconsin. <laughs> so I spent summers down here and like the farm life, like the rural life cycle, uh, lifestyle, but I really like driving tractors. <laughs> so that's what got me hooked. Well, then somewhere along the line, I got turned on to biology and suddenly realized that, you know, crop farming is all about biology and equipment operation. Mm -hmm. And so one thing led to another undergraduate, graduate degrees, and here I am on a farm professionally. I'm a independent research agronomist, and I've also had affiliations with a nonprofit here in East Troy, the Michael Fields Institute, and also uh, two different tenures as a county-based extension educator. And I still, even though professionally I am a researcher, I still have extension in my bones. And so everything I do on my farm and on farm research gets into some kind of outreach. Okay. Because I don't really worry about publishing for the scientific community. I wanna get the information in the hands of farmers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, you were showing me around your farm and I was so impressed. You have so many little research things going on, all these flags everywhere. I mean, about, about how many different trials are you doing right now? So on my farm, I've got four research trials uh, that are that are mine. I'm also collaborating with the Michael Fields Institute on a on a trial um, looking at intermediate wheatgrass, so a trade named Kernza. Perennial wheat is what it is. Right. And so the idea there is to conserve soil by being a perennial, so you don't have to do the do the tillage. And then I've got on-farm uh, trials, some looking at um, using cover crops and the uh, practice of planting grain to suppress some of the troublesome glyphosate resistant weeds we have here in Southeast Wisconsin. So here's the best example from my farm, giant ragweed. We also have mare's tail and uh, water hemp. So those weed problems and glyph glyphosate tolerance or resistance, ubiquitous, mm -hmm. not only Wisconsin, but the upper Midwest. Mm -hmm. So we're looking at that. And then I'm looking in a larger trial, which has roughly 30 sites around Southeast Wisconsin, looking at the, uh, yield response to cover crop. So it's a crop response. My firm belief is that economics will drive adoption. The people that want to do it for soil health, conservation benefits, they're already doing it. They've already drunk the Kool-Aid. What we need to get is mainstream farmers to number one, no-till, but then number two, grow cover crops. And so I'm trying to identify what the actual yield response is but also trying to identify best management practices so we can make recommendations so people that have a first experience have a positive first experience and they'll be hooked, guaranteed. Yeah, yeah. and that's kind of the gist of uh, your talk at the National Strip Till Co Conference? Right, Yeah. right, exactly. So I'm gonna talk about that bigger project, but we're in our first year of that trial, so I don't have data. But I'm going to talk about some of the work that we did as a pilot study several years ago, looking at the yield response. And we found that, yeah, 75% of the time we got a positive yield response. A couple of them were spectacular on an order of 5 to 10%. So that's the kind of thing that'll make people take interest and the, the kind of thing you can show your banker and hey, giddy up. So I will talk about that as background. I'll share the experience with um, that trial. Um, and what led us to the bigger one and why we're looking at what we're looking at. But then I also will have uh, full trial data, at least on our weed suppression for these troublesome weeds. So that's, I'll mix the two of them together. So oh, that's what we're doing. All right, good. Well, so that'll be a great presentation at the National Strip Tillage Conference, which is gonna be July 28th and 29th in Iowa City, Iowa. So looking forward to that. I am too.